Hey guys, it was time for me to do my weekly machine clean. So I thought I should film it so that everyone can have a bit of an idea of how I do it. Starting off with cleaning the machine by back flushing, I have got the blind filter basket in the standard group handle and I've put one of these espresso uh, cleaning tablets in. Uh, so this is the box and the brand. Look, this isn't the... Um, one that I'll continue to use. I'll probably buy something like Kafisa, I think it's pronounced, um, which is like a powder form cleaner. I think you put in a teaspoon or half a teaspoon or similar into the basket in a similar way. But this is what I've already got and I've been told it'll do the job just fine. So making sure I don't waste anything, I'm going to finish up these uh, espresso machine cleaner tablets. So put it in the blind filter basket. I've got the machine um, filled up and on setting two, fully heated. I wanted to show you this is one of the other things that I'll change at the eight week mark. As I've shown you in previous videos, it is one of the lime scale um, pouches that you put in the water tank. Mine doesn't need to be changed just yet. It can be up to eight weeks. Uh, so I think I've got a couple more weeks to go. So the machine is all heated up and ready to go. The other thing you'll need is your group head cleaner. This came with the machine. It's firm plastic bristle, bristles and it's just used to clean underneath um, the shower screen. So I've got it on setting two. Uh, all the other switches are off. The water tank is full and I've emptied the drip tray because that's where all of our detergent is going to end up once it's done. So the first step is to put your porta filter with the blind filter basket and whatever your espresso machine cleaner preferences into the group head and turn the brew switch on for about 10 to 15 seconds before turning it off. You're supposed to leave about five seconds between each time that you do this to a total of 10 to 15 times per the manual. Unfortunately, I was a bit gung-ho and I've actually done it pretty much back to back. What this does is it back flushes through that detergent up and makes sure that it um, removes all of the grime and oil from the coffee beans. I use a dark roast. I'm pretty sure that that means that it's oilier than uh, lighter blends. Um, and this basically cleans everything out. The recommended frequency for this cleaning is about weekly. So I tend to do this every, I guess, um, Sunday around mid-morning or the afternoon if I want to and here is where we're talking about this in the manual you can see on this page um, extraordinary maintenance I think this is actually just fairly average maintenance but you know we'll let it be what it is and we'll take a medal for that so once you have done that 10 to 15 times you can see it's dissolved the entire tablet so I've tipped it out and I'm just flushing some clean water through the group head just to get rid of some of that detergent so that when I go and back flush it with clean water, I've at least gotten rid of um, a fair bit of the residue and I've cleaned out the basket in the process as well. So once that is empty, clean up any mess that you've made as I have clearly made, actually made quite a lot of mess doing this and every time it doesn't get easier for me. Um, I'm probably not pedantic enough. I've now got a clean blind filter basket, putting it back in and just back flushing it again without the detergent in there to clear everything out so that when I go back to using my machine, it doesn't taste like cleaning products, really. So that's all done. Obviously, if you've done it properly, you should have a pretty full drip tray and make sure that you carefully take it over to the sink and empty it out and clean up any of that water that's left on the bottom there. Bring everything back in um, and reassemble it, Put it, putting it all back together now that you've got a nice clean machine and it should be pretty dry. I found the process of cleaning this machine no more daunting or challenging or time consuming really than it was to clean out my Breville Barista Express. Um, this was part of it that I thought would be a bit nerve wracking, but it's been totally fine. Just going back to these lime scale pouches, um, that would be something that would be really good to do with a full water tank clean, but I did that quite recently. And don't forget to clean out your group head with your cleaning bristle brush. This is one of the periodic cleaning recommendations. You're actually recommended to soak the portafilter baskets 
and the shower screen from the group head as well by putting it in a boiling water with a bit of detergent and just letting it soak and get all those oils out. Unfortunately, you have to use an Allen key to get that. And Murphy's Law, I've got every size Allen key except for the exact one that would fit this machine, which is such a shame. Last thing is, don't forget, if you like your hot drinks, make sure you clean your steam wand regularly. You don't want it getting clogged up. Hope this helps.